Hello loves, welcome again. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how I made that teapot and the teacup. And I figured since Valentine's Day is coming up and my anniversary as well as my birthday, this is a good time to tell you guys how my husband and I just met. Well, not just met. <laughs> Also, since our little dance, you know, did so well, thank you all so much for the beautiful and amazing comments. I really, really appreciate it. It's not often I can get him to do these things with me, so when I do, I love it. Okay, so you guys can watch me create this cake while I tell you the story. So we're going to go back all the way, almost 23 years. It'll be 23 years in April. Scratch that almost 24 years because this is when we started to get to know each other. So my parents lived in a different house and he was their real estate agent. And he came by to, you know, figure out things, sell their home and purchase a new one for them. My next door neighbors saw him and they were like, oh my God, is that your real estate agent? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, wow, he is hot. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he is. Anywho, we kind of admired him from afar, right? But then fast forward a year later and he knew or he remembered my mom telling him that I was in need of a job, a summertime job specifically. Now I was 19, actually, I was 18 at the time. Now I know this is frowned upon. So before some of y'all have a little panic or a heart attack, it's you got to think about the culture, okay? And you got to think about the time. So in our culture or kind of slash religion, we kind of like court. We don't really date. And I'll get to that in a different video. Okay, so he asked my mom. He's like, we kind of need a secretary in our office, like the main office he works at, if your daughter is willing to work. And she's like, yeah. So for that summertime, I worked as a secretary for that whole office. Business was a little bit slow for him at the time. And so he would spend a lot of time at the front desk, you know, next to mine. We would chat and get to know each other and whatnot. So I always was like, hmm, I don't know why he always stays and talks to me, but oh well. So I would tell my mom and she's like, oh, maybe this can go somewhere. So she's like, I know a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So she would make him home cooked meals because his mom was overseas at the time. So he wasn't really eating any good home cooked meals. So I'd bring it in for him. I'd be like, my mom had an extra plate and he was happy about it. And then one day, you know, after months of talking, he kind of looked down and was like, a couple of people were in the office. He's like, would you marry me? And again, remember, Islamically and culturally, it's different for us. So I was like, oh, you kind of you kind of have to ask my mom, you know, like you got to come to my parents. And we did that. And like, since we were talking for a while, technically Muslims cannot really like physically touch or see each other physically without being engaged so when you do get engaged in islam you have to do it in front of a sheikh kind of like a priest or whatnot and then it makes it official under god's eyes but legally we weren't married yet so religiously we were but legally we weren't and really what makes it official official is like when we have the wedding but technically we are officially married islamically but most people get engaged for a while and see if they are compatible before they actually go on with the wedding so yeah, we were engaged for a little while before we planned our wedding in April. And I know everything went by pretty fast. But again, we have to think of culture and whatnot. And that was pretty much it. So I got married at like 19. Yes, he was 34 at the time. So I still went to college, made sure to go to college. It was very important to him and I that I get my college degree. And I got my teaching degree or my bachelor's in teaching. And I even went back a couple of years later, maybe two years later to get my master's degree. So I do have a master's in English as a second language, ESL. I thought that would kind of benefit me in terms of salary wise, but it didn't really do that well. Oh, before I continue, let me tell you guys about this. Many of you were curious how I got the blood to pour. Basically, this was the spout and I just put a hole in it using a straw. And the spout I made using gum paste and found it and it tends to harden it pretty quickly so that if there was liquid inside, it wouldn't be that bad. Like it wouldn't really melt the fondant and I knew I was going to use it right away. So I wasn't very worried about that. Anywho, that was the story of how we met. And fast forward almost 23 years later, we have three kids. Now I'm not going to sugarcoat it and be like, it was 23 years of wonderful bliss. You all know that's not true. Okay. It's not always rainbows and butterflies. You know that. So you have your ups and downs, you have your struggles, obviously, financially, mentally, whatever it may be, physically. But it's just how you manage to get through it together. And then as you grow older, you stop to nitpick on the small things. Like you really start to pick and choose your arguments because you just realize it's not worth it. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys liked the story. And actually, if you can leave me in the comment section about things that you'd like to know, maybe questions I can ask for you. It can be cake related. It can be religion related. I know some people on here are like, this is a cake page. Please leave religion out of it. 
And I understand it's a cake page, but it's also a me page. So feel free to leave your questions below. And as for everybody else who doesn't like it, then you guys know what to do. It's very, very easy. You just unsubscribe. All right, so let's get back to the cake. Now you saw me create the pot. I carved it. I covered it in fondant. I created the spout. And then I even made that little teacup. I made it more kind of like cake pop. I figured that would be best to hold its shape. And finally, I'm not sure if many of you did see this, but it was on a shorts video. This is me pretending to be Joe from you. So I put the stubble on and my husband was standing in front of the refrigerator and I told him, hey, can you turn around and give me a kiss? And he turned around, but then he like looked at me and then backed away. And I started laughing. It was so funny. Then he saw his jacket on the side and he's like, what do you need my jacket for? I'm like, eh, don't worry. This is for a YouTube video. And actually in my basement, we have like the little movie theater, I guess. It's just a big screen TV. He was literally sitting right there watching his show while I'm in the back doing all of this. And he has no idea. <laughs> his face is the other way because I wasn't making any noise other than just eating and cutting into the cake. So then he saw this video on my Instagram and social media. And then also a lot of his coworkers at work, when they saw it the next day, they went up to him and were like, your wife is hilarious. I love it, by the way. He's like, yeah, I, I realized what she needed my jacket for. It was so funny. And I know some of you are like, did your husband know you were like this before he was married to you? And I'm like, no, no, not really. But it was too late to back out. <laughs> we really are totally and utterly complete opposites. It's so funny. Sometimes I wonder how we're even compatible. But as Paula Abdul says, opposites attract. We come together because ah, opposites attract. Where are my 80s babies? It ain't fiction, just a natural fact. We come together because ah, opposites attract. So this is the poster that I copied. And thank you all for watching. And just remember, you guys are the best.